How long is this dream notice going to say I'm on indefinite hiatus for? Until I'm no longer on indefinite hiatus. Duh. Hi, hello there. Let me show you my deck. I built this deck to play in my opponent's first turn. Hopefully I can build Transition Rollback and Shiranui. Morning Logs? Who says it's a morning? It is not a good morning unless you're fishing! Lose and you lose a rank? Fuck, I don't want to lose a rank. Alright, thank you for the top five for today. I really appreciate it. The blue and the gray. Jupiter Spider. Call me skinny, please. Red Paradise. In the inverted rooster. Holy shit. Danger Mothman. <gasps> Yo, what's up everybody? It's me, skinny 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 Pete. <laughs> Activate. <gasps> I got the combo. It's me, Skinny Pete. It's me, Skinny Pete, and I got the combo. Skinny Pete. Labyrinth, Storby, Torby. Discard, Boys Meets Girl. Amayakashi combo. I don't care what they're doing because I'm gonna f freak it. End phase. Would you like to do the rollback combo during your opponent's draw phase? Yes. Transaction rollback. Targeting ghost meets girl. I didn't even need to go into Beatrice. <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> what deck were they playing? <laughs> FTK, 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 Nemlaria. You can't play Nemlaria when you get skinny, skinny penis. What happened? I activated a floodgate from my graveyard, which makes it so they can't special summon monsters from their deck, from their hand, or from the extra deck. So they quit. Stinky Pete. Draw phase. Wait, I'm going first again? I don't want to go first, though. Stinky Pete. Activate Mothman. Emergency provisions? That's fine. Whatever. Ooh. Activate Chandelier. Set this card. Set this card from the deck. And set this card in the grave. And pass. Imagine the scenes if Rollback gets banned eventually. Rollback will get banned eventually. What do you mean if it gets banned eventually? It will get banned eventually. Okay, and then we can add um oh um Ariana. In order to return Mothman to the hand, so I can use it next turn. Then we can use Ariana to search. And Chandelier to chain block. Oh wait, if they had Ash Blossom, they would have used it right now. Chandelier comes back to the hand. And Ariana can search out a card from my deck. In this case, Lady Labyrinth. Who can then special summon Hermself. Good evening, Mr. Logs. Hello there, Mr. Logs. It is me, Stinky Pete. I always forget Mudor and Keldor are still at one here. All four of the issues and monsters got banned in the TCG. No, they didn't. Mudor and Keldor are at one in the TCG, too. Unification of the Cubics. Crimson Nova. Oh, fuck. Crimson Nova, the Dark Dragon of Destruction. This card is immune to monster effects, but not traps, so I'm fine. 
This is my goddess deck, right? Yeah. It's cubic time. Are you playing this because you like big titty goth women? Duh. Oh boy. Oh boy. Your opponent is about to end his and or her turn. Would you like to activate the effect of a card? Sure, whatever. Activate the effect of Labyrinth Chandelier? Sure, whatever. Activate Mothman? Sure, whatever. What do you mean, just dropping logs? What does that even mean? Both players take 3,000 damage? Cool. <gasps> Ooh, transaction rollback. That's pretty cool. Ooh, I can use Big Welcome Labyrinth to bounce their Crimson Nova the Dark Dragon. Ooh. Ooh. Or I can activate Big Welcome Labyrinth and get it into the graveyard. And also chain Lady Labyrinth of the Silver Castell to it so I can set another trap card from my deck. Hi, Mr. Spider. Hi. That answers my question. Testing out rollback? Of course. Select a card to set onto the field. Um, okay. I guess we'll set Fiend Comedian. Select a card to special summon. Uh, Ariana. Send Lady Labyrinth back to the hand. And then trigger everything. We'll search out Ku Clock. Dios mio! Okay. Special summon out Lady Labyrinth. Add back Chandelier. Search out Ku Klok. They only have two cards in the graveyard. I'd rather they have more cards in the graveyard, you know? Activate Labyrinth setup. We'll return these two cards back to the deck. Then we'll set two different named cards from my deck. This one. And this one, I guess. Did you see the what ads? I don't know what you're talking about. Oh! <gasps> And then I get a special summon another card from my graveyard. Ooh. If I use Fiend Comedian, that's only two cards. If I use Backup Team, that's two cards. Hmm. Backup Team, draw two. <gasps> Emergency Provisions! We'll return this to the deck. And do I have a transition rollback in the grave? No, I don't. <laughs> I have emergency provisions. That means I can send my entire deck to the grave. Okay, um, I think we'll just pass here. What's your target? I don't remember what my target is in this deck. I might have to go to my other one. Standby phase. Main phase one. 
Oh, right. I need to activate a card so that I can activate the effect of my other card in order to actually get something on board. Select the effect of a card to activate. Yeah, we're going to big welcome. I need to free up one of my slots. Select a card to special summon. Uh, Torby, I guess. And then we'll send Ariana back to my hand. So she's not in attack position. Okay, and now I can chain everything else. Oh, no, no, wait. I need to activate another trap card. Select a card to target. Um, Ku Clock? Sure, why not? It's going to be in defense position. That way I can chain Lady Labyrinth to it. Which will then let me set Ghost Meets Girl a Maya Kashi Masterful Maya Kashi Masterful Maya Kashi. Back to the front. <laughs> this is a hard once per turn, right? End phase? <laughs> they think they got me. <laughs> they 100% they think they got me. <laughs> 3,000 life points. <gasps> Mill two cards. Activate the effect of a card? Sure, why not? Oh wait, I don't want to get rid of Ariana. That was a mistake. Activate the effect of a card during your end phase? Yeah, might as well set this one back to the field. Backup team! It's Torby! Go ahead. Inflict 3,000 damage to me. <laughs> I bet they weren't expecting that. <laughs> Nobody expects. Wait, this card's in defense position? Oh, that makes it real easy to get rid of. Okay, we'll activate Big Welcome. Send this card back to their hand. Uh, activate this. And this. Oh, I need to add um, a Chaos Sorcerer to this deck. All oh, right, I didn't banish their graveyard. Um, if I roll back now. It was 21 minutes. I don't believe. Oh, that was 22 minutes, actually. Chandelier! Now they can't special summon from the deck. Attack position. Uh, attack position. And what do I have in the grave? Keldo. I can't summon anything else. But I can do this. <laughs> yeah, Chaos Angel. What are your thoughts about Earthbounds from the latest box? I have an Earthbound deck. I don't know how to play it. I just copied it from online. It seemed like it was neat. Goddess going second pile. Don't play the Runic variant. Why not? Chaos. K 
Chaos Angel. Uh, I need to get rid of some cards. What if I get rid of Danger Mothman? And what if I add in Arch Lord Christian? And just oh, I gotta get rid of two more cards. Uh, this one and uh, Mech Knight. <laughs> Let's see here. Give me a second. Six, six, six. It's seven, actually. That's 70. I gotta pay one of my editors 70 more dollars. Do, 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 do. Runic is nice, that genus loci or snake eye stuff. Genus loci? What? Who's a genius loci? Me? Remember, folks, always pay your employees livable wages. Remember, folks, I'm rich. Going first, I guess. I built this deck to go second, but I can also go first because I'm playing a small labyrinth engine. Sun, sea, genus, loci- I know it's an Avalon. I was trying to make a joke, I just failed at it. Don't be mean to me. I'm trying my best. Sometimes my best isn't good enough though. A big welcome labyrinth. Set Ku clock. Pass. Livable wages aren't enough. We also need 50% more than living wages. Man, I wish I had a livable wage. And I do. Because I'm a genius. <gasps> Just like Rosemi-sama! Hazukashi! Activate Chaos Hunter. We can send Labyrinth set up to the grave. Then we can activate Big Welcome Labyrinth. In response, big welcome labyrinth. In order to get out Ariana, the welcome labyrinth. In order to return Ku Klux to the hand, Chaos Hunter comes out. Cards cannot be banished while this card is face up on the field. Uh, either draw a card or search a card. I'd probably rather search a card. Search a card, search a card. We can search, search, search. Stovey. Okay, add a cash tier card from your deck to your hand. Cool beans, then we activate Torby, Ku Clock, in order to set another card from the deck. Now your opponent cannot banish cards. True. Cash Tira Theosis. Unless they enter the battle phase. Okay. Oh, wait, if they pop all my cards, then I can go into Goddess of Sweet Revenge. That would be so freaking funny. Please pop all my cards so I can Goddess of Sweet Revenge. Set one Sinful Spoils trap directly from your deck. Sinful Spoils. Snake Eyes. I hate the name of this card. <gasps> Snake Eye Ash? Good evening, logs. If this was a good evening, I'd be fishing. 
big wet dreams is to build an actual heroes deck. You can build heroes. Rosemi-sama, Rosemi-sama. <gasps> Did you guys watch Rosemi-sama play Tekken today? Every time she was having a match, she would have like a major panic attack and freak out. Poor girl. Nah. Well, who asked you? Because it's not a good evening. Super heavy samurai engine is pretty fire in GL. There's a super heavy samurai engine. What are you talking about? Snake Eyes Goddess of Sweet Revenge. I can't do Snake Eyes Goddess of Sweet Revenge. Oh, fuck. I have to play around anima zones now. This sucks. Why do bad things only ever happen to me? Do 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 more like stage fright yeah she's really bad stage fright she got a perfect win against jack yeah she scored a perfect versus the jack and i was like oh my god she's gonna do it and then the jack got two perfects versus her I'm just like oh no rosamie no rosamie you 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 choked you choked <laughs> For example, skill drain is a floodgate that negates the effects of all monsters that are on the field. Exile Denarz Raziel. What? Holy shit, did they just underworld goddess to get rid of my board? Battle phase? Fuck, man, I can't use Big Welcome. Why couldn't you have cleared out my last card before attacking? No! <laughs> God damn it. Why do bad things only ever happen to me? Um, let's get rid of this card. It didn't really contribute anything to any of the, these games. I'm trying to think, if I play Needlebug Nest, would that help? Probably not. Um... Hmm... No one plays back row destruction anymore. You should run Stone Ogre Groto. That garbage card? Why? Hmm. Time Lords. Okay. If your opponent draws a card, well, transaction rollback might screw me versus Time Lord. I guess I'll just have to rely on Big Welcome in the graveyard. <laughs> And a level 10 monster you control. Ooh, they have trade in for level 10s now. Oh, it's not even a once per turn. Dang, they haven't printed one of these in forever. Does Chaos Hunter 
clap all over this deck. Send roll back to the grave. You Nimlaria. They're gonna banish rollback from the grave. Okay. I wasn't gonna use it anyway against a burn deck. But maybe it's not a burn deck? Haha, <laughs> try activating any of your cards now. Impossible challenge. Crap. No, wait, they can't use the graveyard effect. Wait, they don't need the graveyard effect. Twenty-five, twenty-five. Maxi, shit. Uh, I can't do anything with this hand. This sucks. Um. If I send my entire board to the graveyard at max C and they crash into my stuff, I can goddess a sweet revenge. Mm -hmm. Phase. Oh, <gasps> Maxi. Now, if they special summon, they have to special summon. It is too easy to destroy Chaos Hunter, apparently. Why does everyone and their mom get rid of it so easily? Ooh, what's this? Send a level 10, negate the effects all face up. Monsters your opponent controls until the end of the turn. No more battles? Dang it, I wanted to. God is a sweet revenge. Dreamy Nemlaria. Once per turn, you can place a Nemlaria continuous spell directly from your deck. And if you do, Add this card from your extra deck to your extra deck face up. Banish two cards. Add two with different names. You cannot special some monsters in extra deck the turn you activate the set except pendulum monsters. Add a Nemlaria card from your graveyard to your hand. Whoa. They're going hog wild now. And then they normal summon a Time Lord. That's their turn. Wow. Amazing. Hmm. If I put Stovey on board, can I get rid of him? No, I have to set him. Don't forget, Hearthstone's anniversary starts tomorrow in a while and only lasts a week. What's that? Hmm. Shuffle this card into the deck. Okay. Holiday event in WoW for 10 year Hearthstone anniversary. It's been 10 years since that garbage game came out. Nobody even plays Hearthstone anymore. Uh oh. <gasps> you think they'll blow up my field for me? So I can Goddess the Sweet Revenge? Gains fire attack for each monster opponent controls that is currently banished. <gasps> That's two cards! 
that's 3,000 attack. You can't special monster exercise except pendulum monsters. Ooh. No more watch streaks? Yeah, I removed them. I don't like watch streaks. Is their extra deck empty yet? Nope. You were almost at 50. Damn. I stream a lot. You can disable watch streaks. I figured it out last stream. I was like, I don't like watch streaks, so I turned them off. How many cards I've left in the deck? Three more. Send one other card to the graveyard. What are they doing now? Set another card from their deck. <gasps> no! It's the battle phase. Activate emergency provisions. One, two. <laughs> Gain 2,000 life points. <laughs> <laughs> it hit walled them off. <laughs> Come on, keep going. There we go. Now we have Goddess of Sweet Revenge. Hopefully they don't have a negate. Like an Ash Blossom or something. Uh, or I guess a called by would do it too. Ugh. Okay. I think if they had something, they would have used it by now, right? Oh, thank goodness. They're about to lose their whole field. Wait, what? Special summon a monster to the... F Wait, why wasn't their whole field blown up? I don't get it. They were all supposed to die. I didn't know they had protection. That's not fair. Stupid continuous spell. Ham boning things for everyone else. Boom, boom, boom. After all I went through to protect my life points and then they do this to me. Yeah, all I did was remove their back row, Sag. Activate lovely lady. Oh, they had Maxi. Wait, if they had Maxi, why didn't they use it? Yeah, it's Nimlaria Time Lords, apparently. Uh, if you have face up Pendulum Monster Extra Deck, expose some of the cards from your hand, you'll effect once per turn. If you have a Dreamy Name Layer face up an Extra Deck, quick effect, you can banish one card face down for Extra Deck. Uh, this card gets Fighter Attack for each monster your opponent controls. Currently controls the end of this turn. Okay, so I don't want to crash into that card. Uh, banish one card, negate the activation. Blah blah blah. You can send one, set one trap directly from your deck. I see. Yeah, 
If Goddess got rid of their hand, that'd be nice too. You banish this card from your graveyard. Wait, what? It loses a 100 attack and defense for each card currently banished face down until the end of this turn. God damn it. I had no idea that a card like that because no one uses it. Also, I don't really have all their effects memorized. Either way. Do, 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 do. If you have a dreamy Nimlaria face up in your extra deck. Eh, whatever. Activate this card. Go into Ariana. Search out another card from the deck. Sag logs his reading comprehension. Shut up. I'm a genius. Activate the effect. Yes. Select a card to add from your deck to your hand. Nimlaria about to wake up? Yeah. They're about to wake up all over me. I'm going to feel their salvation all over my face. <gasps> uh oh, she woke up. Wait, what? Where did they banish? Very three banish face down cards. You banish one card from your opponent's field into a graveyard face down. Then shuffle one of your face down banished cards into the deck for each card you banished. From your opponent's field and or graveyard. Oh, well, they just ripped all of my graveyard effects from the graveyard. Shit. Well, I'm dead. <clears throat> Nine thousand just attacked directly already. Battle phase. If only this card in hand was Goddess of Sweet Revenge. Then all of my dreams would come true. Ah! Oh, I just had a neat idea for a deck. Create new deck. The Goddess of Sweet Revenge. One, two, three. However, I'm going to get rid of cards from my hand through the use of Labyrinth cards, but they will only be searching the field spell. And then we'll play Floodgates, which are fiend monsters that can come back from the graveyard. Like... Well, we can play this one to reset some of our traps. So we have... Chaos Sorcerer, of course. <gasps> Effects of face-up light monsters are negated. If this card destroys a light monster by battle, it can attack again in a <laughs> brain golem. <laughs> I just want to play brain golem because that's so funny. <laughs> <gasps> Barrier statue. Oh, I also want to play the invader of darkness because that's technically a floodgate. Invader. Who... <sighs> Invader. Okay, and then we'll also play the Impulse Engine. And then the rest of the list will be things like... Um, back to the front. Um, target three cards. It's a trap card, a normal trap card. We can also play Transaction. <gasps> this one right here, Intimidating Ogre. Choose three cards, your opponent summons one of them. And then of course, Transaction Rollback. 
roll back. And then... Um... The heck is Brain Golem? It negates the effects of light monsters! Double hooking? Double hooking. That might work. Hooking. Um, I have three cards left that I can use. Should I just play Max C? No. Should I play the Sinful Spoils engine? No. What else should I play? Soul of the Supreme King? Ooh, that could be silly. Or evenly matched? Lightning Storm? I guess I could play Lightning Storms and stuff. Oh, what if I played, um, I need a way to get rid of my field spell. Thrust? Uh, maybe Thrust. Skill Drain? No. Mirror Jade is the one play with Branded. I need a way to potentially get rid of my field spell if things go south. Or there's also Fiend Grieving. Fiend Griefing? Let's see how this one works out. Do 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 do. Is this the dual logs? The one and only. Oh, I forgot about that one trap card that lets me dig through my deck. Um, what's it called? Backup. Backup team. We'll just go down to one fiend grieving. Okay, well actually maybe I'll put down one Curse of Anubis and play a third copy of Backup Team. Trap trick? Don't need it. Okay, so now what we have is Goddess, um, Fiend, Summonite. Okay, let's see how this works out. And then for the extra deck, we can play one of those. Seven, eight, six. Damn, they're all different levels. I can play Wallow. One Wallow. And then a whole bunch of generics. That one, snow. God is a sweet revenge. Uh, a rollback and summonite. Duel. Mannequin cat turbo. Oh fuck, mannequin cat. Would be pretty good. I've reached diamond ring today. Because I was able to craft called by the grave and pick up Super Poly from my main deck. What? Oh, who's going first and or second? You are going first? Okay, I guess. <sighs> How's your road to recovery? From what? Crap, I have no way to discard it. For your throat? What happened to my throat? <clears throat> oh, 
My utents. Not making a noise. There we go. The noise is back. Now do the mates. <gasps> There's sent a bunch of cards before the battle phase. It is the battle phase. Activate the victory of a card. Yes, backup team. Select some cards to return to the deck. Uh, this one. Uh, this one. This one. Come on, use an effect so I can use impulse. When your opponent cannot target this card with monster effects, blah 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 blah. Ooh, double hooking. Normal summon impulse activate impulses effect. Do I have any monsters in the grave? No. Impulse activated effect. If it's a tie, you choose. Oh, they're gonna waste an imperm on this? Ooh, nice. Wow. Absolute clownish behavior. End phase? It is an end phase. Thank you very much. <gasps> Harpy's Feather Duster? Shoot. Thank goodness your other trap wasn't in there, right? It's fine as long as I get this card out of my hand. <gasps> yes, impulse. I can finally do it. Go into fire attacker. And if they search a card, I get to draw two. What does this one do? <gasps> draw two, discard one. Come on, give me something good to eat. Fuck. <laughs> they suck. Oh, actually. Torby. Send this card to the grave. Now they don't have Gone as a Sweet Revenge in the deck, but they probably don't know that I have it in hand. So if they pop my field spell for me, then I will activate Gone as a Sweet Revenge. Fake trap over the heavenly prison would have been a good idea. Well, I'm, I don't care if my cards go to the grave. Come on, destroy my cards already. <laughs> Someone's name. The last person who just subscribed, their name is the Gamer Mouse. But spelled with gay for gamer. Target one card in the field, destroy it. No, destroy my field spell! Fuck. At least Boo Boo game or Waking the Dragon? No. Hmm. Tara, 
I'm thinking, what if I go down to one of each of these cards? And then just play Needlebug Nest. Needlebug. Destroy all face-up monsters. Ooh, Needle Sealing. If I copy the effect of that in the grave with Transition Rollback, that's just... All cards get destroyed. Rollback Mill with Snow. I don't want to put Snow in here. What did you get from DoorDash today? Good question. I didn't get DoorDash. Today. <sighs> Whew, I'm on a diet. Do you run Mythics and WoW? No. Does Rollback work with Witch's Strike? I don't know. Now that rollback is in the game, isn't it technically much easier to do the banquet slash DD dynamite FTK with Labyrinth? The what now? Rollback work with evenly matched? I think so. Chaos Hunter. <laughs> and a rescue ace card from your deck to your hand. Top 10 targets for rollback would be funny. What are the top 10 targets for rollback? <sighs> Needle worm, needle bug nest is a good target. Ghost meets girl, that's true. Banquet of Millions, the one that banishes all your opponent's extra deck, then burn them and deal for two DD Dynamites. What? I might yawn after the dual logs. Oh, I mean Needle Bug Nest. They can't bring out Turbulence! Unless they special summon it in some other way. Because they can't banish cards. Your opponent cannot banish cards. But I can! Their name is Sogogi. Time Seal is toxic. Holy shit. Super polymerization. Whoa. That's my dragon of the swamp. He's not my dragon. <laughs> Needle bug nest in the top five cards of your deck to the graveyard. Declare one attribute. Fire. Fire was selected. Go crazy. Needle bug nest. Okay. Ooh, a rollback. <laughs> Should I roll back? <laughs> a chaos hunter. <laughs> no, I'm going to intimidate. Select three cards. These three. And then select one of them. I wish Time Seal was unbanned. It's still banned in Master Duel. They don't trust me with it. Rescue, rescue, rescue. Okay, I select one, and then they select either to let me special summon that one card, or special summon the other two. Special summon the selected card was selected. So Chaos Hunter comes back. Which means they can't go into Turbulence. 
What other cards do I have? I guess I can roll back my uh, needle bug nest to get five more cards in the graveyard. <laughs> Um, that was not a very good deal. I got one more rollback in the grave. And I think I lost the game because of it. Uh-oh! Promethean Princess. Damn it, I am not stopping them. My floodgate is barely stopping them. They have just as many cards in their grave as I do. And they still have gas to keep going. Battle phase. Uh oh. Now they can finally go into turbulence. <laughs> And then set a whole bunch of cards to the board. Oh right, I could have just saved rollback for the battle phase now that I think about it. Why did none of you guys tell me to do that? Do 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 Turbulence! Well, I'm ham boned. Are you willing to test whether rollback works with evenly or witches straight? Uh-huh. I'm pretty sure it works with evenly matched. End phase. This looks like a lost cause. Nonsense! Activate... Labyrinth, Labyrinth. <laughs> Okay, and let's activate transition rollback to copy the effect of one card from my graveyard. We can copy back to the front in order to special summon. No, if I spell do that, they can just remove it from the grave because they have hydrant out. Three more cards. I got nothing. Backup team. Rollback doesn't require you to pay cost, but you still need to meet the activation condition. Shut up. <laughs> wow, look at this hand. <laughs> I'm only doing this to proc the effect of my field spell. In case y'all were wondering. Okay. Then we can use this to bring back Invader of Darkness. Now they can't activate quick play spell cards. Shit, but they can destroy my card. <laughs> Whoops. Okay. This version of the deck doesn't work very well. Now what? I'm trying to open up Edo Pro. So I can look at some suggestions. The Master Duel Band List. Oh yeah, Kit Kolos. Fits sent to the graveyard. It mills five. I don't really use the extra deck. 
Hmm, but I'm not really using the cards I mill either. So, graveyard special summon effects. These ones are cards that special summon themselves from the graveyard, which is not what we need. If banished. No, I don't need that either. Wait, actually, if banished. Thunder Dragons go plus, right? To the hand or the end phase, you'll affect Thunder Dragon once per turn. The Dragon Rulers go plus, too. Good morning. I think the Duel Logs is in my dreams again. Good. So wait, if I play Snow, and then I play, like, all of the engines which allow me to mill a whole bunch of cards, and then I only play Redox... And then Redox searches out a Morphage Goliath. And then I can bring out a Morphage Goliath and stun my opponent with Goliath. <gasps> I could stun with Goliath thanks to Redox getting banished by snow. A Fairy Tail Snow deck? Maybe. Maybe a Fairy Tail Snow deck would work. Hmm. Hmm. Ow, my nose is itchy. Mm -hmm. Oh, let's save this. Hmm. Special summon from the graveyard. Disc Commander, Sky Wolf. Oh, Diviner has a good effect if it's special summon from the graveyard. So does Powered Crawler. Uh, which one of these are zombie types? I don't think it really matters. Gendo, the Ascended Monk. <gasps> Soul Scissors! Oh, I forgot about this card. If it's special summon from the graveyard, you can destroy one monster your opponent controls. That's pretty good. Oh, wait. So does Cosmo Dark Destroyer. And it can't be targeted by card effects. Terabyte Raid. Hello there, Terabyte. I hope you had a fantastic time being a cool dude this card is no more special summon special summon a fish nor monster from your hand to deck if this card is destroyed by battle or if this card is destroyed by a card effect special summon any number of vile pond salmon tokens <gasps> oh my god <laughs> salmon token from your hand deck or graveyard <gasps> salmon tokens <sighs> mm. I have to do that I could get so many Salamon tokens. So, Infernal Queen Salamon, Salmon. Are there any other ways to search out Infernal Queen Salamon? There is, actually, if we play uh, Ice Barrier, which has a graveyard effect. Ooh, Salami tokens. Give me a second. Give me five seconds. What's this card called again? Um, Infernal Queen Salmon Tips. This card can be searched out by Abyss Shark, Ice Barrier. What the fuck is Ice? Oh, I know what Ice Barrier is. Mermaid Shark, Mermaid Shark, Crystal Goo, Buzzsaw Shark. Really? Buzzsaw Shark can search it out. The same level as that monster. Flying Red Carp. Ether the Heavenly Monarch. <gasps> it has Monarch stats? Holy shit, it does. 2400, 1000. Return of the Monarchs. This card's normal summon. Return all cards. You control the same column as the card. The, you can add one monster with 20 of your deck to your hand. Except Hand Shido, the Spirit. You guys can't see what I'm looking at right now. Serpent of the Goat, you can search it out too, apparently. Pacifis. White Circle Reef. I'm pretty sure that card is not in the game. The White Fish Salvage. You can take one fish monster in the graveyard, add it to your hand. This card in possession is up upon its card effects into the graveyard. Take a fish monster from your deck and either add it to your hand or special summon it. Okay. 
Mermail. The Water Charmer Gentle. Really? Imperial Princess Quinn Carey. Oh, okay. Rescue Ferret, Witch of the Black Forest. Hand Kyushodo Spirit. They have this one set over here twice. Requires only Mermaid Shark. Let's you play a move from your deck to your hand. And then Abyss Shark can special summon itself. Next, both Mermaid Shark and Abyss Shark can be used to link summon Abyss Keeper. Which can use effect to special summon this card from the hand. Wait, Abyss Shark? Do you add a level deck to your hand? Oh, okay. Do 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 Super Team Buddy Force Unite. Okay, I'm gonna retool this deck a little bit. I'm gonna play some salami tokens. I'm gonna keep playing the other cards though because I think they're silly. Double hooking, double, double, double. Abyss Shark. One, two, three. A uh, princess, Quinn Query, Whitefish Salvation, a uh, hand she kudos spirit, ki 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 ki. Ooh, a level nine, huh? A bish shark. And then apparently Mermaid Shark can be used. Mermaid Shark. In order to get the combo going. Uh, Legendary Fisherman, Normal Fish Monster. Uh, wait, what? It's something else. Graveyard's kind of used to be a special the graveyard while only requiring one copy of the normal fish monster. White can also be summoned from the graveyard? No, they can't. Yeah, time to fish a W. I forgot what I was doing. Ice Barrier, one, two, three. Terror King. Salam. Uh, queen. Queen, 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 queen. My queen. Um, what are the fish normal monsters? I can summon any fish normal monster from your hand deck or graveyard. Normal fish. <laughs> Whoa, 2400 attack. But Terror King Salmon already has that. Um, okay. What are the stats on Link Spider? One normal monster, special summon level four, lower normal monster from your hand. If I play the level fours, then I can do Link Spider shenanigans. Seven colored fish? Hmm. I feel like I'm forgetting a card. Eh, whatever. Okay, we have so many ways. Wait, double hooking probably won't work. Let's get rid of that. Okie dokie, and then we have all of these fish cards. What if we look for fish support? 
Banish a face-up fish, a sea serpent, or aqua monster you control. Draw two cards. Only the ones that you control, though? Lame. What about Banny Sharks? Target a level 4 or lower fish monster in your graveyard. Special summon it. Then add one monster from deck to your hand with the same original name as a special summoned card. Level 5, level 5, level 1. That's probably not going to work. <gasps> fish Depth Charge. Destroy that target. And if you do draw a card... I wonder if you can copy this with rollback. <laughs> <laughs> Target one of your banished level 6 or lower fish monsters. Special summon defense position, but negate its effects. Ooh, if it's normal or special, you can do that? I see. Electric jellyfish. Whitefish salvation. Target one of your fish monsters you control, one monster opponent controls. Banish both monsters to your next standby phase. If a fish monster is special summoned to your field while any card is banished, you can banish this card from your graveyard or face up spell trap card zone. All fish monsters you control gain 100 attack for each card currently banished to end a turn. That's lame. Give me some real effects. Uh, unshaven angular to get super ancient to deep sea king. Uh... I don't know about that. Um, apply these effects in sequence based on the number of banished fish monsters. 1 plus, your fish monsters cannot be destroyed by battle. 4 plus, the activation effects fish monsters activate on your field cannot be negated this turn. Special summon 1 fish synchro monster from your extra deck. This is treated as a synchro summon. Holy shit, if I get 8 cards banished, I can use Goatee Cosmos? Neat. I'm not doing that. Hmm, Fishborg Doctor. What was my plan with this deck again? Add a level 7 or lower monster from deck to your hand that mentions Umi or is a Water Nor monster. Then if Umi's on the field, special summon a Water Nor monster from your deck. I don't want to play Umi though. Uh, monsters this card points to against fine attack and defense. You can only attack once per turn. During your opponent's turn, quick effects, send one card from your hand to the graveyard, add a mermail card to your deck to your hand. If this card is destroyed by an opponent's attack or card effect, send a water monster from your deck to the graveyard, and then target a water monster in your graveyard and special summon it. Ooh, what's this? Banish a face-up fish monster you control. Special summon one of your goatee monsters that's banished or in your hand, deck, or graveyard with a different original name from the banished monster to activate this card, but banish it when it leaves the field. Play fish sonar? No. I don't have any targets for fish sonar. I'm pretty sure this card doesn't mention Umi anywhere in its text. Hmm, what about water support? I feel like I'm forgetting something here. Like, isn't there banger water support? There is! Stealth Kragen is banger water support. Like, two level fives. Target one monster your opponent controls, detach one material from Xyz monster you control, and if you do, destroy that target. This is a quick effect if you control another water Xyz monster. If another water Xyz monster you control is destroyed by battle or card effect while you control this card, you can take one spell from your deck and place it on top of your deck. Okay. Ice wall? What the fuck is ice wall? Ice wall. Ice jade ice wall? <gasps> oh, you mean the card that's a one card synchro of Agrimane? This card, right? You can discard one other ice jade card or water monster, special summon this card from your hand, then special summon one ice jade token. All those tokens the player cannot summon except water monsters. Yeah, that card's really good. And... Ooh, isn't this one pretty good? If this card is in your hand or graveyard, you can target one Ice Jade monster you control. Equip this card to that card you control. While this card is equipped to a monster, you can special summon it. No, it's Ice Jade specific. 
Well, I do plan on getting out Grimir, but you're right. It is very Ice Jade specific. Tenola, Acti, Tremora. Uh, if this card's in your hand, spell summon a water monster from your hand. If it phase up water monster controls by battle or card effect, while this card's in your graveyard, banish this card, spell summon an Ice Jade monster from your hand or graveyard. Well, I will have Arginine. And it does have 2,500 defense. That's not half bad. Fish depth charge, big wave, small wave? I don't know about big wave, small wave. <laughs> do, 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 do. I feel like I'm missing something really important from this deck. All right. Terror. No, I don't want to play Maxi. Terror. Terror King. Stalemate. There we go. Do 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 do. Artifact. What if I play Sanctum Scythe? This. This. <gasps> I can play Lancia. I don't want to play Lancia though. Do, 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 do. We'll play one white fish. Um, play one backup team. One needle bug nest. Let's see how this works. Okay, and then we'll play two of these. No, wait, we can go into any water monster, right? Except water monsters, because I so I can also play. Oh, where is he at? Chenging. Uh, more ray of greed. I don't want to play more ray of greed. Yeah, Chenging is good. Okay, and then are there any other good Xs which are level fives? Does this one water lock me? Some water monsters also double the first battle damage. Okay, it does water lock me, but that's fine. Whatever. Do 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 do. We already have princess, so that we can artifact lock my opponent. The set card, special summon it. Special summon, draw one card. You must control this face up card. I Let's activate. Wait, that's not the one that locks. Where's Sanctum at? It's the pink one? This one, really? Oh, this one. M Mjolnir. Except artifact monsters. Mjolnir. Okay. All right. Two light monsters. Two monsters. Two monsters. Two light monsters. Three level five monsters. Holy cannoli! Uh, three. Two monsters. Uh, this quick effect of control another water XC's monster. Uh, there's Nash Knight, but that requires way too much extra deck space to use, so I'm not gonna bother. Three monsters, two monsters, two level five monsters. I could rank up on top of something. There's that level six that ranks up that's kind of hard to out, but it's also not that great. Um, detach one of these materials instead. Um... Is this a quick effect? You can detach one from this card, then target a level 5 monster in either graveyard, special summon to either field. If a face up level 5 monster you control is destroyed by battle or leaves the field because of opponent's card effect, while you control this card, you can add to your hand or special summon one level 5 monster from your deck. Uh... Hmm, what if I played Rise to Full Height? Any Testina card? 
There is one Tistina card that has a really good effect that I can use outside of its archetype. I don't know about the other ones, though. Rank up into Crystal Zero. Yeah, that's a Link... I mean, a Rank 5, 6 card, right? Crystal Zero, Full Armored Lancer. Um, you can also use a Rank 5 monster as a material. Gains 500 attack for each material attached to it. If this card in the field would be destroyed by battle or card effect, detach one material from this card instead. Once per turn, detach one material from this card and negate the effects of all face-up cards your opponent controls until the end of this turn. I guess Crystal Lancer works. You can also exceed someone on top of Nash Knight. Cannot be destroyed by card effects. You can detach one material from this card. Spuddle Summon from your extra deck. One number X sees monster. That's 101 and 107 in its name. Using this face-up card, you control as a material, but destroy it during the opponent's next end phase. Between 101 and 107. What's the best card to cheat out with this? Ow! <laughs> <laughs> uh, a bunch, but usually silent art. Umbral Horror Masquerade? Wait, really? Attack becomes half. You can once per turn quick effect, detach one control from this card, double this card's attack until the end of Oh Crystal Zero. Oh Shark Lancer kinda sucks. Ragnafinity. Oh, once per turn, during either player's turn, you can detach one Xyz Mitchell from this card, then target one face-up monster your opponent controls, inflict damage to your opponent equal to the difference between that monster's original and current attack. And if you do, banish it. When this card is destroyed and sent to the graveyard while it has Xyz material, special summon a Ragnazir from your graveyard. Must be in your graveyard to activate and resolve this effect, but not the other one. So if they have an attack that's different from their normal attack... I can banish it. Wow, that's cool. Good night, logs. See ya. Hmm. Let me get rid of Wallow. We can keep all these other cards. Get rid of this and 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 this. Okay, so we're going to get a whole bunch of tokens. Which means I can go into some fun little engines with the G Golems. G Golems. Boo -doo -doo -boop 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 -boop. Ooh. Target an earth monster in your graveyard and special summon it if it's sent to the graveyard, but it requires two earth monsters as its materials, which is fine. Golem, golem, golem. No, I don't want that one. Actually, this one's fine, right? Once per battle, if this card battles the opponent's monster, you can send an earth monster to your hand of the graveyard. That monster loses 200 attack, also negates effects. When your opponent activates a card or effect that targets a link monster, you can negate the effect. And if you destroy the card, I guess that's fine. Okay, so we have G Golem. So we can also go into Heat Soul Talker. Heat Soul. To draw some cards. Okay, Cold Link Monster Control Undefected by Opponents Activated Effects on the field of Monster Effects. All Monsters opponent Controls must attack this card. Once per turn, discard one Cyrus Monster, draw a card. That's not very good. Okay, so this one is... Infernal Queen Goddess. Infernal Queen Goddess of Sweet Revenge. Okay, I need it. Uh, change this out. You sure like your G Golem engine? I do. I invented it. 
I saw someone use it at a competitive event, and I was like, I invented it. I need credit. I need everybody to credit me. I'll be right back. Hello. I'm Vidual Locks, and I'm here to tell you that. Have you ever wanted to spend a whole bunch of money on a spider plush? Oh my god, look at this. It's only $50. That's amazing. That's like the price of two different plushies. They're expensive. It's really good, though. Look at this. I, I showed it to my cat, and he um doesn't like it very much. But I assure you, it is... A, a plush, all right. They're only available for a limited time, only until like the next couple of days, and then they'll go on sale later on. But this is for pre-orders. Pre-order one now. Hello, I'm the Dual Locks, and I'm here to tell you that have you ever wanted to spend a whole bunch of money on a spider plush? Oh my god, look at this! It's only fifty dollars. That's amazing. That's like the price of two different plushies. They're expensive. It's really good though. Look at this. I, I showed it to my cat, and he um doesn't like it very much. But I assure you, it is a, a plush, all right. They're only available for a limited time, only until like the next couple of days, and then they'll go on sale later on. But this is for pre-orders. Pre-order one now. Hello, I'm the Dual Locks, and I'm here to tell you that have you ever wanted to spend a whole bunch of money on a spider plush? Oh my god, look at this. It's only $50. That's amazing. That's like the price of two different plushies. They're expensive. It's really good, though. Look at this. I, I showed it to my cat, and he... um like it very much but i assure you it is a, a plush all right they're only available for a limited time only until like the next couple of days and then they'll go on sale later on but this is for pre-orders pre-order one now hello i'm the dual locks and i'm here to tell you that have you ever hello there <gasps> i'm getting some more um Plushies made. Keychain ones. I think. I might be getting normal ones. I don't know. For a lot cheaper. Space Mambo. Whoa! This hand is certainly a hand, all right. A keychain plus plush, yeah. Artifact Sanctum to get out Artifact Scythe. Oh shit. Never mind. I don't know if I want to go into Scythe now. <laughs> when I go to Moral Touch and pop their card instead. Wait, how? Oh, because I activated a trap card? Moral touch. You fucked. It's a hand, all right. A hand with no monsters in it. Moral touch doesn't target. Wait, does it not? <gasps> it doesn't. Holy shit, I didn't know that. No dear servant. Uh oh. Ow. Neat. <laughs> it's non target removal. Dang it. Wrong deck to try to extra deck lock them. Why didn't they attack? You silly goose. Maybe they forgot. Oh! <gasps> 
Dogmatica Punishment. Natis to pop another one of my cards on the board. And special summon a fiend from the grave. Whoa. If it's summoned during my turn, it doesn't activate its effect. That's a big one. Welcome, Labyrinth. It's that one normal trap with a different name from your deck. And a big welcome. Hmm. Do they have any traps in the graveyard I can copy? I can copy Punishment, but I don't really have any good targets to send to the graveyard. I kind of want to summon all mine naturally. This is Game Ogre? Not really. Yay, they destroyed it. Hopefully they don't destroy Moral Tots so I can bring out... <gasps> oh, that's a good one. My card. Okay. Activate Ariana. Activate Lovely Lady. Please destroy a card in my hand. Yes. Ooh, it was even transaction rollback. Ice barrier. They don't have an ash blossom, do they? No. Well, that's good. <laughs> How can this be a log stack without meme cards like Waking the Dragon or Witch Strike? Oh, I forgot about using those! How come you guys never remind me of anything? Add a card to your hand? Yeah. Now I can go into Infernal Queen Salmon. Wait, did I use my normal summon this turn? Oh no, we're in the battle phase. Oof, I got scared there for a second. You're a genius? Why, thank you. Do 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 do. They're gonna impermit? You buffoon! The only effect I care about is the one that it activates when it's destroyed. End phase. I was promised fire decks and plant, but I've been playing only dark decks. Why oh, are you playing like an anti-fire deck or something? They don't even have anti-fire support. They do have anti-wind support though. Have you seen the new Demon Smith archetype? Someone said it counters in for nobles. How? <laughs> it's lab with some limit and dark barrier statues. I love summon limit. <laughs> Big welcome. They're targeting my back row? Uh, do they have any good effects to copy in their back row? Not really. Well, they can destroy my transaction rollback. Or just send it back to my hand, I guess. 
Target one normal trap in your grave. And get it back. <laughs> skeet, 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 skeet. Do 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 Wait, what does this card do? Dogmatica Ecclesia. I forgot what I was gonna do. I'm thinking real hard right now. <laughs> Battle phase? Oh, they're gonna destroy it? Oh my god, how silly. Now I get a million tokens. One token, ha ha ha. Two tokens, ha ha ha. Three tokens, ha ha ha. Four tokens, ha ha ha. Five tokens. Plus four, you know it. Boom 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 Ow Welcome Labyrinth. Oh, I drew into Molnir. Well, I do need in the graveyard to do that one combo. We almost missed the stream. Oof, that would suck. I still have one card left. Okay. What did I draw into? Nothing good, apparently. Well, I guess I can go into Infernal Queen. Banish the card. I can use fish depth charge. Oh my god, that's so funny. Fernal Queen Salmon. Rollback evenly matched is pretty funny. Don't you have to enter the battle phase to do that? Activate Infernal Queen Salmon's effect in order to special summon a monster. Are we doing floodgates today? Uh, not really. I was trying to do a floodgate. Another one? Stop imperming my salmon. Freaking freak. Boom, Fish keeper? Wait, oh. I'm locked because of ice barrier, right? No, why am I locked? It has to be Ice Bear, but that was like forever ago. Until the end phase of your next turn after the effect. Well, I guess it hasn't been the end phase of my next turn yet. End phase. Respect? What do you mean respect? I love Floodgates. I'm going to play so many Floodgates after this. Wait, is this card to be face up for that effect to resolve? Is this card you to destroy by battle or run with card effect? My opponent's card? Nope. We'll get rid of my token, I guess. Floodgating even the floodgates. 
<gasps> welcome, Labyrinth. And a big welcome, but they flipped down their lady. They should have did this earlier. What are they, stupid? Because now I have a neat card in the graveyard to target. Does rollback work with magic cylinder? Good question. We need to talk about transition rollback. Transaction rollback. I don't know why I keep saying transition. Torby. Since both. You can only use one big welcome effect per turn and only once that turn. Wait, are they using big welcome to bounce my card? No, they can't. Because they don't have a level 8 or higher fiend monster on the board. They're using big welcome labyrinth. Oh, you can use each effect on the same turn. You don't understand the last play that must have misplayed? I think so. I'm going to copy their Darumu cannon once they flip all their cards back up. Do, 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 do. Activate Artifact Sanctum? Not yet. Come on, flip over your last pathetic card. Roll back. Darumu Cannon. All of their cards are gonna go face down again. <laughs> Eradicator Epidemic Virus. Trap cards was selected. Artifact Sanctum. Do 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 Wait, aren't I not supposed to be to activate cards in response? Was it only monster effects? Select a card to special summon. Technically, this is a spell card. Did they have to read that or something? Activate Sanctum! They should attribute it to Lovely Lady, right? They're gonna run out of resources eventually. Apparently, it copies the effect, but the conditions must still be met. It just ignores the cost. And the reason it works with Ghost Meets Girl is because there is no condition, only a cost. You love rollback, right? It's such a silly card. And if they destroy my Terror King Salmon, then I get to summon five tokens again. Which means it doesn't work on... Um, that one card. <laughs> it doesn't work on Witch's Strike. <laughs> Do 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 Can you use it on Waking the Dragon? Can 
Vegan moves on Waking a Dragon. That's awesome. It is because Witch's Strike is an if effect. What? Witch's Strike has a condition for the activation of the card, not a cost. Conditions go before a semicolon. Costs go before uh No wait, it's the other way around. Conditions are before the colon and cost are before the semicolon. So if I take a look at Ghost Meets Girl, a Mayakashi story. Do 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 Spell speed hurts my brain. Are you making a short on this? No, I'm just looking for like other cards to use with transaction rollback. Hmm. So yeah, Witch's Strike is a condition because it has a colon and you can't negate conditions, only costs. Hmm. Chaos Angel. How the fuck did they go into Chaos Angel after getting all their cards set face down? That's some bullshit. I hope you're doing well tonight. Me too. We have a level 5. Why are there no fish tuner monsters in the game? Oh wait, there might be. Well, I'm dead. There are a fair few. Are there really now? Let me see. How come there's no fish normal monster tuners? Fish tuners. Fish tunas. Cuck, 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 cuck. Do, 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 do. So these are all of the fish tuners in the game. Not a single normal monster amongst any of them. You can target one fish, seize purple, and aqua monster in your gear with the lower level of the cards in your opponent's hand. Spell will summon it, but it cannot be active effect this turn. Deal effect once per turn. This card sends you a single material. You can make all single materials gain to attack for each card currently in your opponent's hand. Ooh. Ooh, neat. I was thinking, what if we use... Revolution Synchron, because I can go into level 8 with Terra King Salmon or the other one on the field. And then I can go to level 8, and then I can go into Omega, and I can use Omega to recycle my spent ice barriers. And doesn't that just sound fine and dandy? Do 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 Oh fuck, Omega's not a dragon. You can spell something that comes level one. It can still come out as a level one monster, but that's not as useful as what I was thinking of. Damn it, why does it only work on dragons? Ice barrier locks out of Omega though? Yeah, yeah, whatever. Fiend comedian. Everyone's a comedian. Oops. Cool. Why is it not showing me fiend comedian? There it is. Okay, so if we look at um, my Yakashi, ghost meets girl, and then witches strike. So, Ghost Meets Girl, tribute one card, semicolon, neither player can special summon monsters for the rest of this turn. So because it has a semicolon, I can ignore the cost and just apply the effect. But for Witch's Strike, it has a hard colon. Two dots. Dot dot. Destroy all cards. So I need to meet the activation conditions for it. Okay, that's a good distinction to know about. That makes it a lot easier to understand how this works. So if we look at evenly matched, 
evenly matched has a condition at the end of the battle phase if your opponent controls the monsters you do uh cards and you do colon you can make your opponent banish cards face down okay so this one is a condition which means we can copy it as long as we meet the conditions of it can we get a youtube short on this i guess let me write this down how transaction rollback really works Okay, and then we have this. This also has a semicolon. Target two monsters, but that's the cost. First time watching the stream, hope you're doing well. Give us more fall to sleep videos. Okay. I was gonna make a couple more. But I wanted to add like actual like extra stuff inside of them. So I'm working on that slowly over time. Soul of the Supreme card. Yeah, zero card on field, evenly matched. Addicted to your YouTube videos. Why thank you. Pay half your life points, colon. Oh! <gasps> Special summon a Supreme King Zark from your extract, ignoring its summon conditions but negate its effects, and it's returned to your extract during the end phase of the next turn. When you put an activate the spell card or effect, colon, banish this card from your graveyard. Oh my god, you can soul a Supreme King. And since it's already in the graveyard. <laughs> there was a hot fix. The hot fix was because it wasn't negating the effect of your Zark. That's all it was. Ooh, and if you destructive karma your Zark. Ooh, I need to look at some more. Does it only copy normal monster effects? Target one normal trap? Yeah, it's only. You should put stuff like Regeki Break on the short as well. People need to learn that targeting is never a cost. Regeki Break. Um. Oh, it does have a colon. How does this work? I guess you just target a card in the field and destroy it. But like, hmm, it's not a condition, but it is in the semicolon. So how does this resolve? Because it just like negates it, it just destroy it. Yeah, the effect is just destroy it. But usually it is the card that was targeted as part of the condition. Doesn't Snow Dark World target for cost? Um, the thing is, technically, you can't target for cost. It's like, but it's also targeting is not considered a cost either. It's like an activation condition that's technically not an activation condition. Destroys your opponent themselves, destroy your opponent. Yeah, it's like a requirement for an effect even though it's written in the same line of text as costs. Mm, Rageki break. Okay, and do 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 Oh, Waking the Dragon, let's take a look at that. Waking the Dragon. Um, oh, it's a condition. If this set card in its owner's control has left the field because of an opponent's effect and is now on the graveyard or banished, you can special own monster from your deck or extra deck. I don't think you can copy Waking the Dragon because it's a condition. I'll add it anyway. Would a trap trick be good? Trap trick. Trap trick, trap trick, check trick. Uh, banish one normal monster from your deck except trap trick. And if you do, set one card with the same name directly from your deck. It can be activated this turn. Oh, yeah, you can just copy the effect because it's pure effect. There's no, like, confusion with this one. It's literally just trap trick. Do 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 Let's see here. Normal trap cards. Now I'm curious. <gasps> can you copy the effect of Mystical Ref Panel? Yes, of course. Wait, can you copy W Nebula Meteorite Dragon? Change all face down monsters on the field to face up defense position. During the end phase of this turn, change all face up reptile monsters you control face down, then draw a card for each. Oh! <gasps> Oh, 
There's no colons or semicolons anywhere. That means you can copy the effect. That means you can use the effect of W Nebula Meteorite on your first turn if you're playing Worms. Ooh, what about Harpy's Featherstorm? Is it a good effect? In Worms it is. <laughs> if you control a Wing Voice monster. Ah, oh, damn it, it's a condition. Can't copied. Ooh, what about this? If your life points are lower than 100, draw two cards. Nope, can't be copied. Ooh, what about Sales Pitch? It searches any card from your deck. If your opponent adds a card from your deck to their hand, except by drawing them by their card effect. Aw, oh, it's a condition. How many of these cards? Ooh, what about Trap Tricks? Destroy it. And if you do, set one normal trap directly from your deck. Trap Tracks. You should be able to copy this. You still need to destroy a card you control, but you can copy it. Reckless Greed? Uh, we'll take a look. I was thinking Reckless Greed, too. Let's look. Draw two cards. Keep your next two draw phases. Nope. You can't ignore the downside. Hmm. That's a condition. Tribute a dark monster. When you copy the deck devastation virus, you still need to tribute the card, right? Or can you ignore that? No, I mean, it looks like it's the same conditions as freaking Ghost Meets Girl. You don't, it's a semicolon. That's what I was thinking, but like, didn't they do a special ruling just to be like, no, you still gotta do it. Metaverse? Well, Metaverse is pure fact, so like, of course it works with that. Tribute one dark monster and then declare a type between spell or trap. Destroy all of your opponent's cards based on that. Here, we'll get rid of this one. It did copy my EEV earlier today with no tribute. Really? Well, okay then. Special summon three Nightmare Fiend tokens in attack position to your opponent's field. Each time one is destroyed, inflict 500 damage to your opponent. Wow, that's cool. If your life points is at least 1,000 higher than your opponent's, pay 1,000 life points. Draw one card for every 2,000 life point difference between your opponent's. I guess you can copy that, but like, why would you want to? Breakthrough skill. Ooh, respark is a good one. Ah, oh, it's a condition. Hmm. What are some other really good cards that can have their effects copied? Target two spell traps in the field. Destroy them. You cannot conduct your battle phase this turn. Whoa. Sinothian Blast. Ojama Duo. Ojama Duo sucks though. Shirinui Sile Swallow Slash. Uh, destroy two cards. That's not that good. You can't if it refers to this card. Wait, what do you mean? Titano Cider. Target one monster in your opponent's graveyard. Special summon it. Yeah, you can copy EEV despite the text refers to this card's activation in MD using OGC rulings with TCG text. I would say red eyes, but it's good. Can't be copied. Shut up. Wait, when did they add this card? If a monster you control is destroyed by opponent's card or effect, place face up in your field zone. One field spell from your deck with a different name than cards in the field zones. Then reveal five monsters from your deck that can be special summoned with different names from each other. If your opponent rather picks one for your special summon. Also shove the rest into your deck. You only effect. How did how did die get here? <laughs> That's so bad. Oh wait, I can't play field spells in this deck. Linear Equation Cannon. During the battle phase, condition, declare a whole number between 1 to 6, cost, or I guess part of the effect. And then you can declare a number, and then it, you can use Linear Equation Cannon. Whoa. That's pretty cool. What are some other really good cards? Oh! <gasps> If a monster was destroyed by battle this turn, send a monster reborn from your hand or deck to the graveyard, then target one monster either graveyard, special summon. <laughs> that sucks. <laughs> Ooh, this one has a good effect. If you control three more fairy monsters, send as many monsters from the field to the graveyard as possible. Then each player can only special monsters from their graveyard to the field up to the number of monsters into the graveyard by this effect. 
Um, that's lame. Oh, your opponent controls two more monsters. Your opponent sends a monster to the control, so they only control one. Karma Cannon? I already have Karma Cannon in here. Well, I thought I did. I'm pretty sure it's in there. I just can't find it. Heavy Storm Duster? Shh. Who needs Heavy Storm Duster? Terminal Tribute. There's a great card to copy. Relay Soul. Transmission Gear. Magical Hats. Magical Hats still has to be in the battle phase, though. But at least it doesn't need to be on the field, which is the big downside to it. Then you get another transaction rollback. Um, banish that card face down. Target a fusion or poly card. Enter the player's grave. Banish that spell. Then apply that spell's effect as this card. Wow, that's crazy. Negate its effects when your opponent activates a card or effect in response to your D-Bell star monster. Ooh. You can use Sinful Spoils. When a monster is summoned, destroy all cards on the field. Wow, that's crazy. An Imperm? Yeah, you can copy Imperm. I don't know why you'd want to. You can copy your opponent's Imperm, too, from their graveyard. Mm-hmm. <laughs> It's funny you can copy fish depth charge. It destroys a card and then draws you a card. <laughs> That's actually pretty good. If you have no trap cards in your graveyard, target two monsters on the field, destroy those targets. Pretty sure you can't use that. Ooh, summon a level two or lower warrior monster from your deck. All level three or lower water monsters cannot be destroyed by battle and or card effects. Banish all light machines from your grave during this turn. Any effect damage becomes not effect damage. That's cool. Wait, why is Horn of the Phantom Beast a normal card? <gasps> Can you copy localized tornado? Shovel all cards from your hand and graveyard into the deck. Whoa. Whoa. The Peepa Omega Idol song? Yeah, that's the one I keep humming. Do 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 do. Let's see. Target one face up level five or lower monster opponent controls. Destroy all face up monsters in the field with a different level than it. Whoa. Level five or lower and then destroy everything else. This one banishes a card. I kind of want to run localized tornado. And more backup squads. Ooh, burst rebirth. No, that's not very good. If your opponent has eight more cards in the graveyard, the attack of all monsters your opponent controls becomes zero. Ooh, punch in the box is good, but I can't copy the effect. Hmm. <gasps> Double magical arm bind. I can take control of two of my opponent's cards. Whoa. Whoa. If you control the same number of cards your opponent, swap control of them. Whoa. Roll a six sided die. Blind obliteration. Ojama Duo, these tokens cannot be attributed. Banish this card from your graveyard. Special summon two Ojama tokens to your opponent's field. Does this six Shinobi work? I'm pretty sure six Shinobi is a condition. But let me check. <laughs> Phoenix Windblast, I'm pretty sure you can do that. If you control six six samurai monsters with different attributes, colon, skip your opponent's next turn. It's a colon effect, unfortunately. Needle. If there are four or more monsters on the field, destroy all face-up monsters on the field. Condition. Damn it, why is this not a cost? Why are all of these conditions? <sighs> this is slowly turning into a grass deck. No, I'm gonna get rid of a whole bunch of these cards, don't worry. Mm -hmm, mm, 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 mm. Get 
rid of Moral Touch, Malorn, Witch's Strike, if one of my cards is negated, we can go down to one of these. Okay, we're good to go. Good to go, when to go, good to go. Didn't add Karma, I don't need Karma Cannon. Foolish Burial Goods, I don't need Foolish Burial Goods, I'm a genius. Holy bricks, Batman. <laughs> I drew my two garnets. Are you fucking kidding me? You know how many garnets I have in this deck? Two. Holy moly. Holy cannoli. Ryaki break Mjolnir. What? They have Azgul? Ah, shit. Select a card to summon. I don't know about that. Small world. Are they going to try to bone tower mill me? We're going to be here for a while? Yeah. My Akashi takes forever in an online client. Damn, their hand was cracked. They just had Hajun and Azgul. Where is their bone tower? Give me bone tower or give me death. The poisonous Mayakashi. They banished it face down. Oh, was that the... No, they didn't. Oh, wait, did they? The one in their hand? If only the card I had in hand was freaking Scythe instead. Then everything would be good. Yeah, Yoko, the graceful Mayakashi. Are you ham boned? I don't think so. Means now I can use Regeki Break. <laughs> He's speaking in tongues. You'd know it. Do do do. Problem is, if I destroy their card, then they're gonna go into some super ultra mega. Wait, what? Why did they go into this card and not the Link Four? What are they doing now? Watch me the how a deck can recur this much and not even be close to relevant. It's really good in um 
and Duel Links. Oh, they're just putting multiple Yukiona's the Icicle Mayakashi into the grave. Because it has a graveyard effect that's really good. There's the Link 4. Yeah, Duel Links. Duel Links moment. Duel Links moment. Cringe. 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 Duel Links. Duel Links. Cringe. Transaction rollback. Raigeki break. Pop. <laughs> Mjolnir. I probably should have waited till I took damage. Oh shit, I'm dead. To be fair, I drew into two Garnets. This duel doesn't count. Whew. Yeah, they opened everything and I drew into both of my Garnets. You've been demoted? That's not fair. You know how hard it was to climb to platinum, whatever I was in? If you try not playing Garnet, shut up. I'm a genius. Your opponent is choosing whether or not to go first and or second. You are going second? Well, whatever. Yeah, no garnets, no problem. Ooh, Goddess of Sweet Revenge would have been nice to have. They surrendered? What kind of hand did they have where they surrendered immediately? Oh, it's a bot. <laughs> What's a Garnet? Garnet is a term for a card that you specifically only want to exist in your deck and nowhere else. You don't want to draw into it. Not to be confused with cards which are known as Bricks. Bricks are cards that can be in your hand, but generally need something else to make them online. Technically... My artifact card was more of a brick, not really a garnet. <gasps> Nimlaria! Ooh, wow, I drew a wombo combo. Is that four pass? Pretty much. I got saved by Ghost Bell, Super Poly, and Imperm. I need to play Super Polymerization. The Star Platinum. <gasps> Nimlaria. They're gonna summon a whole bunch of big dudes that don't do nothing and have no negates. So there's nothing to worry about. But their stupid continuous card can protect their monsters. Granted, Diabell Star has helped making it more consistent. I play Brick Eyes and I take zero offense to any slander to it. Brick Eyes? More like bad eyes. Kill, 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 kill. End phase. <gasps> Arjunane? I don't have any... any water monsters in my hand, so I can't use it. Nimlaria. Come on, empty your deck for me. And one Nimlaria card from your graveyard to your hand. Whoa, that's pretty good.
What do we summon with waking the dragon? Oh, I forgot to add something good. Um, G Golem Dignified is probably no, actually Heat Soul. Actually, I have three. Wait, I can't target a Link monster, can I? So one monster. No, I can. Yeah, I have three good targets. Oh shit! I have some. I have a lot of good targets, actually. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Only thing I don't have is Ultimate Falcon. I have better targets than Ultimate Falcon. Are you kidding me? I have some really good options for this shit. Battle phase. Attacking with the little dudes first. In order to... Waking into Curus is even funnier. What? Who's that? Really wish they would have destroyed my back row. That would have made things more convenient. Because now I'm ham boned. Is that a witchcrafter? Why do they have witchcrafter hein Heine? I have no idea. Well, I'm dead. <laughs> Because Hein is a dummy mommy. What? Do you guys speak words? Yeah, they had way too much damage on board. Let me get rid of some cards that are only in here as a joke. Girl meets Ghost Mayakashi. Witch's Strike. I can leave Witch's Strike in there. I like the idea behind Double Magical Armbind. Of stealing two of my opponent's cards. And there we go. Would dances with beasts be good? I can't really meet the conditions for that. <laughs> Add cards, so give your opponent Feather Duster and run three wakings. Uh, I've done that before. <gasps> I'm going first? Whoa! Ooh, what are the chances I drawn to them both again? This is so fun. Oh, oh, oh. Are you kidding me? Why is everybody voting against me in this prediction? I need more people to vote on me to win this. Both bricks again? Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> Are you fucking kidding me? How does this keep happening? At least I get to reorder my hand. Ooh, yes. Let's put these bricks back into the deck. And this one back into the deck. And this one back into the deck. Fiend Comedian! Wow, much better hand. Two, three, four. The only backup squads to discard, set it puts back into the deck, right? <gasps> Eldritch! Eldritch, the Golden Lord. Eldritch? No, it's Eldritch.
Do you know people still played this deck? They don't really. No alt art eldritch. I was thinking, isn't there a way to cheese the cost of Aegis of Gaia to gain 3,000 life points without losing the effect? <gasps> there is! Because you take the life point damage as damage, so if you have Prime Material Dragon on the board, you can play Spell of Pain. What does that do? Your opponent has declared battle. Activate the effect of a card. Also, if you shovel back, it's hit information zone, so it won't deal damage. Oh, I forgot about that rule change! I didn't even think of that. That means I can activate three Aegis of Gaia's and then use um, that one card that shuffles all of my cards in the field and graveyard back into the deck. <laughs> and then just gain 3,000 and avoid it. If you have Death Wombat, yeah, Death Wombat would work. Barrel behind the door. What is Spell of Pain? I'm gonna look this one up. Do, 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 do. I need to stop streaming soon though because I'm over two hours and I need to share my save my throat. When your opponent activates a card effect that would inflict damage, your opponent takes damage from the card effect instead. No, that doesn't work because it doesn't work. It says your opponent and I'm the one doing the effect. Yeah, I need to save my throat. Even though my throat feels fine right now, I need to be good about it. Spell of Pain makes your opponent take the damage you would have taken. Yeah, but only from your opponent's card effects, not your own. Shit. Vampire Grimson. Backup team. How do they only have one card in the grave? You gotta go. See yo. Would wanna be yo. Damn it, their freaking deck doesn't destroy back row. So my back row is annoyingly safe. Um, let's put salmon back. This card back. Transaction rollback. Hmm. Which cards do I want to keep? Probably Needle Bug Nest and Needle Ceiling. Okay. Add 3x Inferno Tempest. I don't really have a way to trigger Inferno Tempest though. With Inferno Tempest, if you rely on your opponent to trigger the effect, you're not playing it right. Because it's just like too circumstantial and a lot of the times they just won't attack for 3000 damage. Cursed Eldelan. <laughs> Can hats be used with a token? Nope, needs to be a monster, because tokens can't go face down. Do 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 Come on, destroy my face down cards. <gasps> The Cursed Gold Land. I'm just gonna use this now. See what cards I get in the grave. Ooh, the third monster. If they get one more on the field, then I can needle sealing. The last guy pounded you with five cards. Over 2k and under 3k? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I was thinking about that. Holy shit! 
That was nice. Whoa! Wait, the void? When a monster effect is activated while- well, Okay, it's only monster effects. Oh, shit. I was like, shit, the void is going to- The void is going to fuck up my graveyard, but it only negates monster effects. Whew. Okay. Cursed Guardian of the Eldelan. <gasps> I can finally use Needle Sealing. Should I wait? They have two level eights. Wait, this card's level eight? The Zambi Vampire. They're gonna mill four more cards. I told you they would overextend. I need them to extend further. They still have an Eldritch in hand, which they can use to come out. And then special summon one card from the graveyards. Okay. <gasps> Come on, send a whole bunch of cards to the grave. Ooh, another transaction rollback. And my third ice barrier. <laughs> okay, now they have Skate Ghost. I guess we can just blow up the field now. No need to wait. Man, this fiend comedian's gonna go hard. One of their cards will survive. If monsters you control, be sure about it. Oh crap! It protects all of them. Ooh. Wait, you could have protected them by just paying a thousand life points. Oh, for each card. Oh, they didn't want to pay the life points. <laughs> It is before the battle phase. Not so fast. Fiend Comedian. Chained another card. Tails. Heads, which means I send seven cards from the top of my deck to the grave. Your move, Kaiba. Did I hit any of my revive cards? No. But I did hit... Double magical arm bind. Okay, battle phase. <gasps> Transaction rollback. Ooh, which effect should I use? I'm gonna steal the Zambi Vampire and Vampire Grimson. Thank you. <laughs> Yoink. Yeah, it's our monsters. Yeah, nice monsters you have there. Why, thank you. They are my monsters now. And I get to keep them until the end of my next turn. Activate Grimson, Domanda Vadu. End phase. I don't want to waterlock myself, so I'm not going to use my other card right now. You literally changed how I laugh. You're welcome. I heard there's a Pokemon deck in the Pokemon TCG that's all about Snorlax and snarling, stalling. And I've been really wanting to play the Pokemon TCG to play that Pokey, that Snorlax deck. Because I love Snorlax. He's my, um... He's my child. Snorlax Snall? Don't you mean Snorlax Stall? I do want to play Snorlax Stall. It's like super meta? Holy moly. Transaction rollback? Should I transaction rollback? No. You can roll with Pidgeot and Charizard. Holy crap, stop chaining things. There's a PC app that sucks. Radiant Charizard, not EX. Oh, I love Radiant Charizard. Doom King Baylor Drotch. Of 
Snorlax installing your two favorite things? You forgot to add Meow to the list? Shut up. Yes. Infernal Queen Salmon. Activate Infernal Queen Salmon. Special summon a level 5 monster from my deck. Or graveyard. Or hand. Terror King Salomon. Bum 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 bum. Now we can use them to go into Oh, I can go into Princess Quinquery. <gasps> I can also go into Apollosa, the bow of the goddess. Wait, I can use the Grimson to go into Nash Knight? Oh my god, that's so funny. Activate the effect of a card? No. Crystal Lancer. This should be enough to beat over all other cards. And I also have a transaction rollback in the graveyard. My zombie vampire. Okay, well the zombie vampire is gonna go back to them. Unless I get rid of it. So... Let's see here. I haven't used my normal summon yet. Add it to your hand, Delmon de Vadu. <laughs> What? The summon effect is a hard once per turn? Well, that sucks. Wait, I have other effects I can use? Oh, just transaction rollback. I'm not doing that. <laughs> Fish depth charge? Might as well. I don't want them to give them free advantage every turn. Couldn't you have stole his monster and attacked for game? No, I need to steal two cards and they only had one. He has an Eldritch and a Baylor Drotch, but there's no field spell. <laughs> Draw a card. Wow, seriously, that's the card I drew? Wait, that has a graveyard effect? Oh. 13 cards in the graveyard. What did they send to the graveyard? Activate the effect? Yeah, transaction rollback. Let's see if I can banish their gr Oh, where's my fiend comedian at? How come fiend comedian's not in the grave? I wanted to copy fiend comedian with 1,500 or less attack. Um, I may have made a mistake. If I had Fiend Comedian, I could banish all the cards in the grave. What happened to my Fiend Comedian? It's right here. Oh, I don't have 14 cards in my deck, so I can't use it. Damn it, their grave is too big. <laughs> I have too many cards banished. I mean, in the grave. I'm so ham-boned.
Draw cards equal to the number of cards your opponent controls. I only have four cards left in the deck. I have no more transaction rollbacks. I have one in my deck, but it's not in the grave. I'm dead. If they just bring out the big Eldledge and attack over my Infernal's Queen Salmon, I'm dead. Shouldn't play a grind game versus Eldlich. Shut up. I'm a genius. What if I play Malevolent Catastrophe? But I can use the effect from the graveyard. It's a normal trap. <sighs> My throat's starting to hurt. I pushed myself too hard today. Okay, I gotta go. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, fuck, I just remembered I forgot to send out videos to people. Go say hi to Kira. I like to info dump YouTube metadata on her, but I haven't done that in a while. <laughs> 